So this uh, collection of semi-derelict takeaways may not look like very much, but this is a building that changed the course of world history, because here was the home of Edward Pease, the father of the railways. On April the 19th, 1821, uh, he was up there somewhere waiting to hear news from London that he had been given parliamentary permission to build his railway, the Stockton and Darlington Railway. And so he was ensconced in his house, um, not expecting any visitors, just waiting for this important news. But on that day, April the 19th, 1821, um, two men up in the north of the county, up in Newcastle, had heard of this strange project to connect the coalfields of South Durham with a port at Stockton. And so they decided to come down to see the main mover. And those two men were George Stevenson, uh, who history knows as the father of the locomotive, and his friend Nicholas Wood. He invited the two men into his kitchen in what is now the Mamaris kebab shop there. And uh, in that kitchen, um, Stevenson apparently met Pease for the very first time. And Stevenson persuaded him that rather than old fashioned horsepower pulling the railway, it should be this newfangled steam technology. And so all of the world's railways followed on behind what was started here in this house, uh, in this row of takeaways here in Northgate in Darlington. This is Matthew Pease, and if we get it right, you are the great, 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 great grandson yes. of Edward, the father of the railways, Pease. Uh, and by good luck, you are an architect as well, so you understand old buildings. Um, so Edward moves in here in 1799, is that about right? Yes, yes, or at least he bought it about then, but he would have been doing some work to it. So I rather suspect it was maybe a year or so later doesn't look to be in the best of conditions, I think it is fair to say. How much of what we can see here would Edward, 200 years ago, kind of recognise, do you think? Well, the shapes of the rooms are, are remarkably complete. I mean, if you can look past the mess on the walls, the, the chimney breast, for instance, is all there. And in fact, you can still see the outline of the chimney piece that would have been there. So we could identify pretty exactly what that would have looked like. Some of the door cases are in the right place, the windows are in the right place. Some of the rooms have cornices. So in fact, there's just enough evidence here to be able to recreate most of the, the significant rooms in the front of the house. The Towns Fund has helped Darlington Council to, to, to buy this building. Well, what sort of a future do you think something as semi-derelict as this might have, do you think? Uh, well, I mean, it, because there's enough here, you know, it is restorable and could easily be, uh, you know, a museum or some sort of building which can tell the story of Darlington, can tell the story of the railways. Uh, you know, there's, it's, it, the possibilities are terrific here.